In this data set, we have 100 randomly listed individuals from two groups, group A and group B. And for each individual, we have measured nine properties, which are recorded here as the values V1 to V9. And to start with, we want to see if there are any groups of these variables which are essentially measuring the same or similar properties for that individual. So we will go to Stat, Multivariate Data, and we will investigate the clustering of these variables. And we need to select the variables, so we will select all of the variables. There is a variety of different methods that can be used to identify linkages between the variables. The default on Minitab 16 is average, but we can leave this as the default for Minitab 17. And we will specifically want to see the dendrogram. So we will run the analysis. This dendrogram has used correlations between the variables to identify similarities between the variables. And no two variables are 100% similar or 100% the same. They are all separated along the horizontal axis. But we can see that there are certain groups of variables which do show a high degree of similarity. For example, the variables V2, V5, V6 and V9 show greater than 80% similarity. And a separate group, V3 and V4 and V7, also show similarity. But there are two other variables, V1 and V8, which do not show any significant similarity with any other variable. So within our data set, we've identified two clusters, V2, V5, V6, V9, and V3, V4, V7. We can now also perform a similar cluster analysis, but this time we will look to see if there is any clustering between the observations, or any clustering between the different individuals. So we click Cluster Observations, and again we select all of the variables with which to identify possible clusters of observations. We will leave the default linkage method and the method by which it identifies different clusters of observations as squared Euclidean. We are looking to identify possibly two clusters within our data to see if this relates to the two groups of individuals A and B, and we will show the dendrogram. And we can also store a cluster result under storage, and we will choose new column C12 to receive this data, so that in C12 we should receive the cluster number that the analysis has chosen to fit each individual. So we go OK and then run the analysis. We have the dendrogram now. Each separate observation is listed along the horizontal axis, but we have 100 individuals, we have 100 observations, and of course the labels are now impossible to read as they overwrite each other. But we can see that the analysis has actually split the observations into two general clusters. It is impossible to see from this diagram which individual or which observation is in which cluster. But we had requested to store this information. And if we look at the data in column C12, we have the cluster assigned for each individual listed as 1 and 2. And we can compare the clustering of the individual with the group that that individual came from. And we can see in these first 15 records a complete correlation in that individuals in group A were assigned to cluster 1 in the analysis, and individuals from group B were assigned to cluster 2. If we go through 
all 100 records, we will find that 43 of 50 Group A subjects were correctly assigned to Group 1, and 44 of the 50 B subjects were correctly assigned to Group 2. Leaving only 7 from Group A and 6 from Group B who were misclassified. We can now perform the same cluster of variables analysis using SPSS. The data here shows 100 individuals from two groups A and B. And for each individual, we're measuring nine properties of that individual recorded as the variables V1 to V9. And we wish to see if there are groups within these variables which are essentially measuring a similar property. So we perform analyze, classify, and we will look for hierarchical clusters, and we will select all of the variables, and we wish to look for clusters within the variables, and we're interested in the cluster plot. We click plots and select the dendrogram and we click OK and in this case we see this horizontal dendrogram which identifies clustering between the variables V1 to V9 based on cluster distances. We can also rerun the analysis only we can choose a different method to cluster the variables and we could choose the Pearson correlation method in which case we now see a clustering which is the same as the default clustering obtained using Minitab and in this case we see that there is the cluster of variables V2, V5, V6 and V9 a cluster of variables V4, V7, V3 and that the other variables V1 and V8 show no clustering with any of the other variables 